Hi, this is Chris. Thank you for joining me again on my channel. Today I'm going to bring you something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to bring you a Cricut design that I made for a friend and for her um, first birthday. So she's got a winter birthday coming up and so they wanted a onesie that had the number one on it along with snowflakes because they're going to have a winter wonderland party. So you can see here where I'm taking my design and in design space I've got several snowflakes and I'm just duplicating them and making them different sizes with the word one in between. Now what I'm going to do is because we're going to be making this out of glitter I want to splice the word out of um, the number one out of the snowflake so it's not um, glitter on top of glitter and because it won't adhere and as you can see I made a mistake when I first did it so what I'm going to do is actually duplicate the word one and then I'm going to go and you select two images so the large snowflake and the word one you hit splice then I select the word one and the smaller snowflake hit splice again now I can remove and delete the parts that I don't want and it will leave that gap where I can replace the duplicate word into the space and you won't have any overlapping. So here's why I'm putting it back into space and because you duplicated it, the one is the same size, it fits right in. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select it and resize it to the size that I want on the, on the onesie. And this is a 12 month onesie so I've got it at a width of 4.5 inches. And um, in order for it to cut and keep the snowflakes where I want them, what you have to do is select the snowflakes and hit a group and um, that way they are, or attach and that way they all stay where I designed them. And then I put the word one back in and grouped it. So here's where I'm cutting it. Now the vinyl that I'm using for the snowflakes is a Cricut um, glitter vinyl or actually it's the holographic sparkle. And so that comes with a carrier sheet, so you do want to put the mirror image on. The word one is going to be out of a vinyl that, a glitter vinyl that I bought a Tuesday morning that did not have a carrier sheet, and so in that instance, I don't have to mirror it. So what I'm doing is, is before my cut, I'm going in and I'm selecting the type of um, product that I'm putting into my Cricut machine. So again for the word one I'm using glitter um, and for the snowflakes I'm using this um, holographic sparkle by Cricut. So here's where I've gone ahead and selected it and I'm now I'm going to go ahead and finish it up and hit my cuts. And I do this for both and again make sure if you're using a normal um, HTV vinyl that has the carrier sheet that you do mirror image it otherwise it won't print correctly. So here's where it's cut out. So there is my word one and sorry it's going to be a little bit off screen but I want to be poking the center out of the one or the word, the letter O. And unfortunately I did this off screen so you can't really see it too well. And then what I will do is, um, when I'm done removing it and weeding the center out, then I'm going to go ahead and cut um, the excess. And you save your scraps, because I've really found for small things, you can really save it. So there's the word one, cut out with the glitter. And now I'm going to go ahead and weed the holographic. And like I said, this is where you have it on the carrier sheet. So you're just going to take your weeding tool, grab a corner, and you're going to peel it. Now these snowflakes are kind of delicate, so you need to be careful and go slow when you're, you're moving it away so you don't rip any of the, the little ends of the snowflake. So just be patient, take your time, work it and pull it from different angles, and that helps it remove. And then you'll see here it's kind of caught, so I just take my weeding tool and, and lift it up, and then that allows me to be able to peel it away without ruining the snowflake and pulling everything off. Then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to 
just see that it aligns right. I was hoping that the number, the word one, would actually stick to the Cricut carrier sheet, but the, the glitter didn't want to do that. So you're going to see me fussing with that a little bit. But I still do that to try and get it when I'm laying it on the shirt to try and get the design all lined up. So again, I'm just testing it out, making sure everything works and is where I want it. And then I'm going to get out the onesie. And then you can see here I've got it lined up. And again, I'm just kind of getting an idea of where I want it and getting all the wrinkles out. You want to make sure there's no wrinkles or gaps underneath. You don't want it to um, adhere wrong and have a, a wrinkle in it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to heat up your Easy Press or whatever you're using. I'm using the Easy Press. It's at 330 degrees. And you can see there um, that it wasn't quite up to temperature, so I held it on longer. You want to do that at first to pull any moisture out of the t-shirt or onesie. So now I'm putting the, the glitter one down at 330 degrees for 30 seconds. And I'm just using a little bit of light pressure on this. And now it's adhered. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the snowflakes and I'm going to lay them uh, on and try and get it to where it's centered over the top. And this again, the holographic was also at 330 degrees for 30 seconds. The glitter um, HTV can take a little bit more heat than like your regular HTV, so that's why you can leave it on the full time when you're doing layers. So now I pull it off and I start to remove, and what you'll find is, is that um, I do have trouble with, well, first I'm going to cool it down because it's a warm peel. So just by shaking it, you're getting it off the mat, letting a little air flow and taking some of that heat away from the t-shirt. Then you're going to see I'm going to have a little bit of trouble getting the carrier sheet off. Part of that is because where the glitter word is, it's a little bit raised. And so the, the pieces that were around the, the word one did not want it here very good. So I am going to go ahead and place my Easy Press back on it a little bit longer and try and get a better um, see, um, adhesion to it. And again, it's mainly on the inside where the word one is. Those flakes, it doesn't look like they, they really heated up and got into those little crevices. If you have the Easy Press Mini, it would probably work better because you'd be able to single out that spot. So I put it on there for another 15-20 seconds and I try again and it's still not wanting to go down. So I took my scissors because sometimes when the vinyl is warm, you can kind of get it to adhere by rubbing something on it or you'll see that what I'll do is I'll flip it over and use the heat from the silicone, the mat. Um, and then I also tried heating it from the back side to get to the plastic from the back of the, the onesie. And again, I'll go ahead and try and peel it off. And it's just not wanting to go. So here I'm rubbing it against the mat, using the heat of the mat on it. And what I'm just trying to do is get that carrier sheet off so I can have a direct um, press with the easy press to the actual hol holographic vinyl without having to worry about the carrier sheet pulling it off. So I am actually going to be able to get this removed now, but I have to poke a few of the pieces away with my fingers and with my weeding tool to get it away from the carrier sheet. And again, a lot of this is just having patience. Um, don't get frustrated with it, keep working at it because you can get it to go eventually. It's just a matter of, of taking your time, not overheating it, and not rushing the process. And if it doesn't come off, then you just add a little more heat to it. Here I'm adding a little bit more heat again and trying to actually press down on the front end of the corner of my heat press, trying to get, and again, it's the spots in between the glitter, which is raised up just a little bit more than the, the cotton of the t-shirt. And I'm trying to get it to where the holographic actually 
is touching the t-shirt and getting that heat and adhesion. So here's where I'm taking my weeding tool finally and I'm just trying to peel the little pieces. There's just a couple of them that are still stuck to the transfer sheet or the carrier sheet. And once I have that removed, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a 30 second press on it without the carrier sheet on and then it does hold. And again, I'm just going very slowly trying to peel it away and keep the, keep the pieces of the vinyl where they belong and rolling the carrier sheet away from it. And there I got it off. And now I'm going to go ahead and press it again. And again, using um, light pressure on the easy press. And then Cricut does recommend that you do flip the t-shirt over and press it for another 15 seconds on the, the reverse side. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And as I'm checking it, it did at that point adhere finely. And then I'm just using my weeding tool to kind of, again, while it's still hot, push it down so that the um, vinyl actually adheres to the cotton. Just making sure there's no little pieces that are lifted up. I don't know if this helps or not, but um, it seemed to help for this. So that's kind of what I do if I want to make sure that these little pieces are adhering in. And nothing was lifting up. So then again, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do the last press on the back side. And they normally recommend 15 seconds on the back, but I think I went a little bit longer again because I was having such trouble with it adhering. And that is the finished onesie. And I think it turned out really cute. Again, a little bit of effort and a little bit of patience, and it ended up being a really cute onesie. They do recommend when you wash them, you wash them inside out on cold water. Um, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please share and um, like the in the description below. Thanks.